So a little while ago, I tweeted that I was going to animation school and that I was pretty nervous to start. I think I need to give a little bit of clarification behind that tweet. I'm not technically in animation school yet, but rather I'm taking prerequisite courses to build up a portfolio to then apply to the real school. I mean, it's not like I lied, though, because I am going to classes to learn about animation. Now, this school isn't some kind of local art school, all right? This school... This school's kind of a big deal, okay? I'm positive any animation studio that you can think of has this school at the top of their priority list when it comes to hiring new employees. Pixar, DreamWorks, Blue Sky, they all hire from this school quite frequently, so you can probably guess... It isn't that easy to get into this school. It's a very competitive program, and when I showed up to these prerequisite classes and looked around at all the sketchbooks of the students I'm going to be competing with for this program, well, let's just say I wish nervous was the only emotion I'm feeling right now. Now, I've heard from teachers and other students that they kind of focus mostly on improvement with every portfolio they're given. So they've accepted plenty of people who start out as amateurs because their portfolio showed a lot of improvement. So basically, long story short, I'm drawing a lot of pictures, and they're not for my videos, because I really want to make it into this program. My videos are coming along really slowly at the moment, and as I was working on one, I was just thinking, okay, I do not want another three-month gap between my videos, but I don't have that much time to work on them. Is there any way I can just get a video out quick? I was feeling kind of overwhelmed and stressed out, so I decided to just watch a couple YouTube videos to calm myself down. I pulled up a YouTube channel I watch pretty often known as Tabs, and I clicked on a random video on her channel and just proceeded to watch. Whoever made this, I want to see you eat this right now. I don't care if you did this for shits and giggles. You shared this to ruin all our appetites, so you won't eat it. Then I got an idea. An awful idea. I got a wonderful, awful idea. Reactigator, please tell me you're not going to do what I think you're about to do. Oh, yes I am. I am going to take the monstrosities that she showed in this video, and I'm going to eat all of them. All of them. Just kidding. Not all of them. Just most of them. I'm going to leave a couple out, especially the ones I can't recreate. I mean... I'm sure it'd be pretty entertaining to watch me eat this, but you tell me what on earth this is, because I don't have the foggiest idea. Plus, I don't want to spoil the video for the slim chance that there are some people who haven't seen it yet. I'll put a link to the video in the description and in the end card. It's pretty hysterical. Just be aware, there is some harsh language in it. But alright, let's do this. What barbaric, diabolical dish will we be trying first? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Boop. Well, I'm uh, glad to see we're off to a great start. Alright, to everyone who complains about people pouring milk before their cereal, look at this. I mean, that itself is still a sin, but compared to this? Okay, you want to see something that's ten times worse than people pouring milk before their cereal? You know, there probably are some people that actually like eating this. They're also probably the same kind of person who thought it was a good idea to put meatballs on a sandwich. Pickles and milk cereal? Blech. Can you just imagine what this tastes like? No, I'm sorry, don't do that. Too late, I'm already doing it. Alright. Alright, let's... Get this bowl over here. <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> oh, this was going a lot better in my head. All right, just gotta get a good spoonful of this. Mm. On a scale of one to ten, I'm giving this a zero. Oh. You ain't from Delaware if you never had this. Okay, was the last one from Delaware too? It can't be a coincidence that both involve pickles and cereal. Lucky Charms, they're magically delicious. Unless you're stuffing them in one of these, in that case, these are these things become magically malicious. Did did that did that joke there uh, tickle your pickle any? Oh, I think this video is gonna ruin pickles for me. 
I ever see another pickle again, I'm gonna have like Vietnam flashbacks to this. Oh, what'd you do this weekend, Reactigator? Oh, not much. I just destroyed a bunch of food that people in Africa could be eating right now. I'm just making a mess at this point. It's really hard to like replicate these. Doesn't that look good? Wanna try some? What is this? Mac and eggs and corn. Oh my god, none of this goes together. You know what would make this a lot better? Some ketchup. It's perfect! Well, it's probably the best one so far. So, take that for what you will. <laughs> this is the same thing too. How do you just get a bread bun, find anything you could find closest to the shape of a sausage, and then put it together like a hot dog? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not exactly sure why she included this one in that video, because it didn't even seem that gross. I mean, I don't know, I, I am doing these on like a whole wheat kind of bun, so I don't know, maybe that's something that adds to the gross factor. But yeah, like a banana in a bread bun doesn't seem that bad. I mean, I I eat like sandwiches with bananas and peanut butter, so I don't know, maybe it'd be something like that. You know, it's one thing to experiment with food as a kid, but this? The scariest thing about this is that people are willing to eat a sausage that's pinker than this tongue right here, and just stick a random slice of cheese on the side like that'll redeem anything. Okay, I thought I had like American cheddar cheese uh, in my house, which looks like that's what they used in the picture, but turns out I don't, and I don't want to run back to the store just to get some, so I'm just gonna have to go with whatever cheese this is. But um, you know what they say, hit or Swiss, I guess they never Swiss, huh? All right, so here we got like the hot dog cheese cereal. I mean, this is pretty nasty on its own, but the thing that was like grossest about the picture that she showed in the video is the fact that like the hot dogs were extremely pink. And these look like, you know, pretty standard hot dogs. I just got them at Walmart. It's, they're not exactly like the gross kind of pink. So what do you say? We pink it up a little bit. And I said, hey, I'm gonna poison myself today. Honestly, Pepto-Bismol just makes me sick looking at it. Nothing this pink should ever enter your body. Now with that said, let's take a bite then, shall we? Oh, tell my family I love them. made this. I want to see you eat this right now. I don't care if you did this for shits and giggles. You shared this to ruin all our appetites, so you won't eat it. That is if I ever find you. Well, Tabs, I may not have necessarily been the one who made the original picture, but consider me the whipping boy for this dude. I'll be the one eating it so that he doesn't have to. And for the guy who did make the original picture, I hope you realize what I'm doing for you right now. I am wasting a perfectly good steak just for this. Uh, under no circumstances would I be doing this otherwise. Alright, that looks good enough. I just try to... Alright, gotta... Put milk on this. What did so many of these uh, food atrocities have to do with milk? Uh, what was up with that? Is it because it's white? <laughs> this is kind of ironic, don't you think? This poor cow probably gave milk to sustain life. Now, I'm smothering its butchered hide with it. Kids, don't ever grow up to be like me, okay? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, just stay on. Ugh, yeah, I got two of them. That's good enough. Let's try this thing. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure I 
get a bean on this as well. All right, here we go. Hmm. Shot. It's actually not that bad. I mean, the beans. Beans don't make it good, but yeah. I mean, compared to everything else I've tried today, this is actually pretty freaking great. I might actually just eat the rest of this. I don't want to put this perfectly good steak to waste. This is gross. Why is the pasta stuck and shaped like that? Is it frozen? Is this supposed to be a cake? Because I see toppings. Well, to me, it kind of looks like they use gelatin on it. Okay, so I got this uh, pan of SpaghettiOs going, and uh, I, I really have no idea if this is going to work. It says to do a packet for like two cups of liquid, and I think, I think that's enough, so I don't know. Celtic tells me this isn't going to work at all, but eh. Might as well just give it a try, right? Alright, I guess we'll just leave this to cool then. Alright, it's been a few hours. If it's not solid by now, I don't think it ever will be. Alright, here it is right here. Oh, that actually is pretty... Dang, this actually works. Wait, I gotta let's flip it over real quick. I mean, it actually kept a pretty solid shape. Mmm. I mean, it tastes just like SpaghettiOs. It's cold, but it's solid. <laughs> I was actually expecting this one to be pretty terrible, because then I had to pour a bunch of gelatin for it. I mean, I have to say, I'm surprised. Okay, let's wrap things up real quick before you guys drool too much from falling asleep on your keyboard from this stupid video. It's surprising just how hard it was to recreate a lot of these foods, and I can't believe I'm saying it, but honestly, the pictures she showed looked way more appetizing than they did in real life when I made them. It's really funny that the ones I thought were going to be the absolute worst end up being the best. This is probably the worst video I've ever made. And I really apologize for that, but I, don't, I, I just made this in like a week's time because I'm just taking way too long to get anything done on any of my videos. The next one is like a big project, but I barely have anything done because I'm just trying so hard to keep up with this school. I just hope you got at least some mild entertainment out of this, and I'll just uh, end this right here. So, what did we learn today? Don't go to animation school. Cause then you'll just end up doing stuff like this. Ew, I stepped in sh-